Republic of Yemen is now home to 14 million people, the great majority still farming in rural areas, and all depending on reliable access to the basics of life. Water, food, and energy. The ruins of the Marib Dam stand as a warning that within part of the world's hottest, driest zone, great civilizations collapse if the basic water management systems collapse. Yemen's present farming systems depend on their renowned man-made terracing and flood control structures. And sustainable use of groundwater and rangeland resources. All of these exploit and are linked to the controlled passage of the scarce rains in our mountains. But population increases of half a million a year are causing such demand for fuel wood that even with gas supplies, their forest cover will have disappeared within 20 years at present cutting rates, leaving bare rock. Consequently, the passage of waters has now become the cause of accelerating ecological and economic devastation throughout the length of the catchment. Terracing is already turning to boulder-strewn gullies. Eighty percent of many rich wadi lands are now barren gravel wastelands. This is driving farmers either to over-exploit rangelands, which are turning into sand dunes, or to leave for the cities. But urban life is already threatened, with unemployment at over 25% and city drinking water supplies fast running up. So listen carefully to your brothers and learn from their experience. This crisis is everybody's crisis, not just theirs, but yours and yours, and yours. But all is not lost. It is not too late to take action. And the farmers and communities in this film will tell us how they've done just that. Through cooperation in reviving and modernizing traditional livestock grazing practices, controlled by local herders, supported by government bans on the cutting of trees for charcoal and fuel wood. Yes, the government must prevent the cutting trees for charcoal. Otherwise, all the livestock in Yemen will disappear. But if the trees could be protected, everything else will be in abundance. In Yemen, Yemen will be the best country in the world. It is not too late to take action, and the farmers and communities in this film will tell us how they have done just that through cooperation in reviving and modernizing traditional water conservation practices and imposing controls on the over-exploitation of our most precious natural resource, water. Concerning me, I am living in this area from the 60s and the randomness and waste exists from there. If we don't salvage the area and have solutions like dams, and stop the randomness of drilling, we are heading for disaster and destruction. Maybe we will have to emigrate to somewhere else. This is a crisis.
وبعدها بنرجع ندورنا بلاد غير البلاد ونفلت الكل It is not too late to take action and the farmers and communities in this film will tell us how they've done just that through cooperation in reviving and modernizing traditional livestock grazing practices controlled by local herders supported by government bans on the cutting of trees for charcoal and fuel wood We gathered here to cooperate together this Friday. We're going to take these acacia seeds down that track to plant those collapsed terraces. God willing, when these grow, they will protect the bare escarpment from the rainwater. So we're going to revegetate the abandoned area and protect and improve the remaining agricultural land and protect it from this terrible erosion. I hope that the inhabitants of other districts will imitate this example and reintroduce trees in this way, acacia or all other types of trees. Actually, I prefer it if we use the local acacia, because it's a native species that only needs a little attention. And I really believe Yemen can be green again, just as it used to be. It is not too late to take action. And the farmers and communities in this film will tell us how they have done just that. Through cooperation in reviving and modernizing traditional wadi spate flood control structures with reinforcement techniques that are simple and cheap. Just look at those wire boxes we put up over there. Behind it there, the land is completely restored. If we had more like that, the land could be put back the way it was before. Now the wadi is completely in ruins. Right from the top to the bottom, it's all the same. We've been completely tired out by it. With fencing and cooperation, we really could reclaim the wadi. Without help, we'll simply pick up our spades, say, may God be with you, go off and work in the city. Leave the wadi to destroy our land, because there'd be nothing else to do.